Here we have a Boss FS5U momentary foot switch. What does that mean? When you press it down, it does something. When you lift it up, it stops doing that. Here we have two. Here we have four. What we're going to work on today is how to take these four and put it into something smaller than even the size of two. One of the first things you need to know if you're going to make your own switches is whether you need normally closed or normally open switches. Now, with most Boss pedals, you need normally closed. What does that mean? Right now, this is a switch. It's hooked up to here. So you see nothing's happening because it's a closed circuit. It's going through. And the minute you were to press on a switch that opened it, there's what happens. Now, if you leave it open, it's going to scroll. It's the same thing as pressing and holding this one over here. I can scroll. So you can scroll up or scroll down. You can do that one by one by breaking the connection, making it open. So it is a normally closed type of switch that you need. So here I have a normally closed switch, meaning these two lugs are joined together when this switch is up. When you depress the switch, you can see it goes down. Over here, the Boss one, FS5U, makes it go up. This one makes it go down. So that's the first thing you need to know. Normally closed is what most Boss pedals require. On the uh, something like the FS5U, that is the switch over toward the jack. If you make it away from the jack, it's again going to open it, make it normally open. And watch it, it's going to climb because I've opened it. I'm in Canada and I get my supplies and switches from next gen. You want to search momentary and you want the on off momentary switch normally closed and opens when you depress it. Okay. So now what we're going to do here is black going to sleeve. You've got red going to ring and white going to tip. And so this is on a stereo cable and then here black to one prong, white to the other prong and then red the other prong. So then what you've got is you've got the equivalent of two, two of these, and I'm gonna put them in this box. But first, I wanna make it a nice color. You can search YouTube for how to solder, but first you wanna tin the lugs of each of the switches on one side, and then on the other side, tin the tips of the wires, putting a little bit of solder on the tip of the soldering iron and then putting it back onto the lug will melt that solder pretty quickly. And I like to actually get the wire down through the hole. The black wire is the sleeve on the tip ring sleeve of the jack we're going to do. And you put one black wire onto one of the lugs of each of the switches. Now separately, I'm doing the other two switches. The black wire does not go to all four switches, just to two of the switches, and then separately to two of the switches because I'm doing four in one box. So really it's two switches to, um, to the tip ring and sleeve of one jack and tip ring and sleeve of the other jack. And I'll show you that here. Now, I'm not gonna bore you with wiring up the other side. As I said, black goes to the sleeve. I put yellow to the tip and red to the ring on the other one as well. And now I'm gonna put it all together. One dual switch finished. And then I made a second two switch one here. Okay, so I've got the four switch one here, the two switch one here. Uh, here we've got memory down, memory up. Got this set up for choosing which loop, and then for all clear. Takes up way less room. And with the two switch one, I've just left it as uh, it comes right now, just because it's easiest to show. So record, play, works as a looper, stop, dub. clear so that one works great. Have fun making your own if you do. Ask any questions below and comment, like if you want to, subscribe. See you next time.